Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for July 28th, 2020 and it is for the sign of cancer. That being said, this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take what resonates with you, what feels good with you and the rest of it just leave it aside. If it does not feel right, it most likely was not meant for you. So that being said, if ever you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And if you do enjoy my videos and you have not yet subscribed, please do support my channel by um, subscribing and you'll be encouraging my channel at the same time. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. This is a fairy godmother love reading. So let's see what I have in store for you. Here I have insecurity and it is followed by vulnerability and then I have the card of listening so let's see what this is all about this is your first card so it's insecurity this is don't you realize that every time you fail to believe in yourself or you put yourself down a spark of your magic just kind of fades away you seem to be your own worst enemy right now at the moment and um, for your lack of self-belief and insecurities, they're making uh, very powerful but negative affirmations that unfortunately are manifesting into your reality right now. And you're making things extra difficult for yourself by believing this rubbish, like you are no good, that no one particularly likes you, and that you don't meet the standards of others. Now, you have a habit of negating yourself too quickly to others before and just in case anyone else does and you won't accept the help and assistance from anyone neither. So do you really have such a low opinion of yourself that you want to make others witness this self-abuse? Take a good look around and notice that you are not actually surrounded by people who are against you. The honest truth of the matter is that you have more support than you care to admit. Now, it is that you are preventing all the good that is waiting to be bestowed upon you, though. So why not allow, okay? Um, why not allow for some goodness into your life right now? It's time to knock down that hard fortress you have built around yourself, okay? Please let down the drawbridge and allow others in. You are preventing those who have, you know, your interest at heart in sharing their gifts and great love with you. It's finally time for you to surrender and to just concede. You're going to find that life is so much easier when you just stop realizing, resisting, okay, and realize that you don't have to go and do it all alone, okay? Very, very important. So now we're going to move on to your second card. And your second card is all about, I'm going to move this one over here vulnerability and voila so the vulnerability is all about your increasing sensitivity is leaving you rather susceptible at the moment in emotional wise okay like in an injury you're an easy target for you tend to wear your heart on your sleeve now this has left you open to criticism verbal attacks and judgment and not everyone is as kind of sweet as you are so it could make you um, appear weak now, I must stress that I have used the word appear, for I know without a shadow of a doubt that you are really not like that person, okay? However, you are easily hurt and you find it hard to brush off negativity that has been directed your way. Because you have never felt really completely accepted for who you are, you tend to welcome people at face value, and it's important to take a risk, and one must be vulnerable, but only at times okay um to uncertainties along uh, the way however i have watched from nearby and as you have beautifully put your trust in those who have gone on to lie to cheat and betray you but fear not okay the fairy godmother is there to protect you and then offer is about to be made that is going to bring a smile to your face even though it may sound very tempting, you should wait until the whole story is revealed. Look deeper into the situation before deciding on taking any action. It is time to trust your inner radar that detects any ulterior motives behind any new offers. Okay. 
Um, you need to explore all your natural gifts and your strengths. It's time to recognize and to believe in them. And by doing so, you're going to increase your abilities and soon too, your confidence is going to stand up and you're going to be counted. So soar, no longer will you be taken for granted or wish to settle for scraps. You're worth far more than that. Put past hurts well and truly behind you and step fully into your power. And we're going to move on to the card of listening. Now, do you get caught up in the drama and devastation of life's challenges? Or do you still sit still in a stormy wave, okay, while everything crashes around you and you just simply listen? This is a time for a quiet, it's time for a reflection, and it's just time to be still. Please just slow down a little bit, okay, and stop scurrying around. Now, there are many important messages that you're missing and much to your own detriment. One of the roles here of your fairy godmother is to bring you peace, but I must say that you aren't making, you know, the job very easy. It is vital that you give yourself some silence in order to hear the loving guidance that is being imparted to feel spirit and to notice the beauty that is all around you. So be still, breathe and relax. Here in the internal place of the sacred, you're going to find restoration of balance and harmony. Then you can better hear the advice that is being whispered to you as you learn to live into the present. This message also implies that you are not listening to the needs or indeed the words of others. Next time you have a conversation, observe your thoughts while others are, you know, talking. Now, ask yourself this, okay, while you're, you're observing this, okay? Are you thinking about what you can say next or are you truly listening to the words that are being spoken? There's a difference between hearing and listening and your answers reveal the truth of the matter. However, just because someone tells you something doesn't mean that they are to be believed or to be obeyed. Trust your judgment to enhance, you know, your um, your chances of having success. So this is the ending of your love reading. So I really do hope that it did bring you some... Um, some interesting messages uh, that it resonated with you. So this is really all about being careful about your insecurity, your vulnerability, working on that self-confidence, breaking down barriers, and learning how to listen. It's not easy. It's really not easy to listen, okay? There are full courses um, given on just how to listen. Uh, most people do not listen. So that being said, it really takes a lot of effort to do so and to think about nothing else but just what the other person is saying. So you need to be careful about this into your relationships. Um, so that being said, this is the end of this reading. If you do have any questions, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before leaving. And... Uh, We'll be seeing each other tomorrow for a daily snapshot. Thank you for your support. Have a great day.